Hi, welcome to FireTech Talk. I'm your host, Robert Bell, and I'm joined here with Jeff Terry from Rasky Partners. And we're talking about the work that Jeff does with FEMA, the Fire Equipment Manufacturers Association, and the GRC, the Government Relations Committee. Jeff, as a follow-up to where we left off, what does 2022 look like in getting the UFC updated to reflect the NDAA and what steps need to be taken? Yeah, so uh, we're gonna be engaging an awful lot with the directly with the Department of Defense, directly with the White House, and with, with key members of Congress to weigh into the Department of Defense to make sure that they change that UFC to reflect the NDAA. An awful lot of good work was put in to get the NDAA where we need it to be so that extinguishers are required throughout military bases. Very important work. Jeff, we've heard about the problem with extinguishers being removed from GSA owned and leased buildings. Is there a building code that governs those buildings and what is Rasky and GRC doing to correct this problem? What has already happened yep. and what's planned for 2022? Yeah, that's a really important question. I think that that question, I think really shows a lot of the value of the FEMA GRC and why people should care about it, why distributors should care about it. So for people who don't know, GSA is the General Services Administration. Mm -hmm. They're the landlord of essentially every government, federal government building, and they are the largest landlord in the country. And for the last 20 years, their regulations have not required portable extinguishers throughout. Extinguisher portables are only required in hazardous areas. So that's a huge lost opportunity for the industry, and it's also bad for safety. So we were very successful in getting language in the NDAA to require the Department of Defense to require extinguishers. And now we're working to see what we can do to get the, general, the GSA to require extinguishers in all federal buildings, whether or not it's through legislation, a regulation, or just through a policy change. Excellent, excellent work that we're doing together. Yep. Um, now let's change gears. Tell us about Nashville and Louisiana and the new GRC campaign to collect data on successful extinguisher use. Any new documents from FEMA that you can share on that data and what can be accomplished with this new data? Yeah. It, really important issue. The issue of data collection is vitally important. You know, as, as everyone knows, I'm sure when people are out in the field, they're interacting with people who are saying, why do I have to spend all this money on portable extinguishers? Who actually uses them? Or they're saying, I don't want portable extinguishers in the building because I just want people to get out of the building because when they use an extinguisher, they put themselves at danger. So we know that's not the case. And the FEMA GRC sees it as our responsibility to do what we can to get that data, where the data, whether or not it's current data that's available, or work with people to actually put new data together. And that's actually what we did in Nashville. So we actually reached out to, I think, more than a dozen states, number of municipalities in those states, just to see what kind of information and data they had of fire departments actually using extinguishers or about civilians using extinguishers uh, in their jurisdictions. And we discovered that Nashville has a very robust tracking system. So working with Nashville, um, we were able to look through the last, I think it was five years of fire data, and we were able to discover a number of important things. But one thing was 87% of the time when a, the fire department shows up uh, shows up at a commercial occupancy where there's been a fire and where someone's used an extinguisher. 87% of the time, someone has used an extinguisher to completely extinguish the fire before the fire department gets there. That's you know? incredible number, it, isn't it? It is, absolutely. It, it, it is incredible. Yeah. So the, the more data that gets out like that, it's just better for fire equipment dealers everywhere. Exactly. That's really what it's all about. Exactly. And, and why we're so passionate about what we do with FEMA and GRC. Right. So. How do you get the word out about the GRC accomplishments? And can you tell us a little bit about the Rasky and GRC outreach? Yeah, absolutely. So this interview is a, is a really important thing. So absolutely. I really appreciate the opportunity. Um, I come and speak at the three NAFED uh, conferences every year. Uh, we produce a newsletter that if anyone wants to be added to the list, please reach out to, to Brooks. More than happy to add you to the, uh, the email blast that goes out. And then there's also, I think, a really important website, Fire Extinguisher Save Lives, that um, has an opportunity for people to submit new information about instances where extinguishers were used to protect lives or property. Uh, and then there's also a very active Facebook 
page connected with that. Absolutely, and we'll make that information available as a part of this video series. Um, so I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. So in closing, uh, we want to thank you, Jeff. Great. Incredible work that we do together. And on behalf of fire equipment distributors everywhere, the fellow members of FEMA and GRC want to thank you, Jeff. You represent us very well and very professionally, and I can tell you're passionate about what we do. So we appreciate that. Thank you. Well, I really appreciate the opportunity to come today. Fantastic. Don't forget to subscribe to the Brooks YouTube channel. And this is it for this edition of Fire Tech Talk. Until next time, we'll see you then.